Okay, let's get started with our quick leg workout in narrow V position. Heels are lifted in together and we're pulsing down and down and down. Little pulses here. Glue those heels together. Don't let them come apart. You're up on your toes. Your knees are turned out to the side, creating a little diamond position here. Good. Now let's shake those hips side to side, holding the knees bent and heels lifted. A little bit faster now. Shake it out. You can have a little fun here. Don't be afraid. Shake, shake, shake. You got it. Nice. Let's go down for two and up for two. We shake it down and down. Shake it up and up. We go down for two and up for two. Try to go all the way seat to heels, but it's okay if you can't do this big range of motion. Just make it a little bit smaller. Keep shaking those hips side to side. Pull your abs in. Keep the chest lifted. Good work, everyone. Now hold it here. We're going to go down an inch and up an inch, down an inch and up an inch. So it's nice and slow here. You're keeping your knees bent. Don't straighten them. And you're going down to your low point and then up a little bit higher. Down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch. Now let's tuck those hips. Forward release, forward release, forward release. Keeping those knees bent in your low point. Good. Don't arch the back when you release from the tuck. Pull your abs in as you tuck those hips forward. Now let's hinge forward and we do two pulses and then lift it up in two hip tucks. So we pulse, hinge forward for two, lift up, tuck the hips for two. Pulse, hinge forward, up, tuck the hips. Pulse, hinge forward, up, tuck the hips. Good. Two pulses, two hip tucks. Two pulses, two hip tucks. Awesome. Keep that back flat when you hinge forward. Now we go seat to heels and up, seat to heels and up. So you're going all the way down and all the way up. Singles here, wrap it out. Go as low as you can without getting any knee pain. Nice, everyone. Keep your shoulders stacked over your hips and let's pulse it out again, little pulses. Come to that low point where you really start to feel the shakes. Now let's go ahead and hinge forward here, pulling those abs in. Keep pulsing the legs. Let's turn to a parallel position and drop our heels. Good, so our heels are apart and down on the ground now. Let's lift the right heel up and just pulse with that right heel lifted. Good, keep hinging forward, pull those abs in. Now stop here and we're just gonna pulse the right leg out and out and out, wrap it out, feeling the side. Now go ahead and switch left heels lifted and we're pulsing it out again, little pulses and pulse and pulse, hold it here, wrap it out, and out, and out, work that outer thigh. Good, everyone, now we go ahead and jog through those heels, alternating side to side, lifting one heel, then the other. Keep hinging forward, relax the shoulders, pull those abs in super tight. Keep it going. Drop both heels, lift the chest, keep pulsing here. Now lift the heels up, you're still in that parallel position. Feet are hip width apart. Knees are bent. You're pulsing here. Light grip on your bar. Good, everybody. Keep it pulsing. Come down low enough that you really start to feel those shakes. Now let's bring those knees together and keep on pulsing. Glue those knees in. Pulse it out. Now go ahead and take those knees apart back into parallel. Good. Pulse it down. And knees together. Pulse it out. Knees apart. Good. Knees together. Knees apart. Don't stop the pulses. Bring the knees together and apart. Together and apart. So you're going for two. Two together. Two apart. Two together. Two apart. Excellent job. Let's do singles now. So it goes together and apart, together and apart. One pulse per position. Good, everybody. Are those thighs burning? Mine are. Let's keep it going. Drop those heels. Take your legs wide into a second position now. Big plies here. Flush out those legs. Toes and knees are turned out. Nice wide position. Getting those thighs parallel to the ground as you bend your knees. Chest stays lifted and proud. Bend 
and hold. Little pulses, pulse and pulse. Pulsing that seat down towards the ground. Good. Keep it going here. Feel those thighs, the inner thighs now especially are gonna start to turn on. Let's wrap it back. Stay nice and low in the legs and you just pulse the knees back and back and back. Good. Don't stand up. Come down one inch lower. Nice. Keep wrapping back. Now let's lift the right heel and pulse right here. Little pulses down and down. Just the right heel is lifted. Now left heel lifts. Right heel lowers. Pulse and pulse and pulse. Now right heel lifts. Left heel lifts. We're going to do some repetition reduction here. Right heel lifts. Left heel lifts. Right heel pulse for two. Left heel pulse for two. Right heel, left heel. Right heel, left heel. Go ahead and jog through those feet. Nice work. Now both heels lifted, pulse it down and down and down. You can do it, little pulses. Hold it here. Let's bring our hands into prayer. Balance here with those heels lifted. Drop the heels, stand all the way up. Nice job. Give yourself a little shake out here and then turn and face your sturdy piece of furniture. We're going into a water ski, so rise up onto your toes. Heels are together and you're just pulsing here. So your heels are together, your knees are apart, so you're creating that nice diamond position again. Your hips are forward and you're leaning back so your arms are straight. And you're in an incline position, you're pulsing here. Pull those abs in tight. Feel those eyes working. Now if you can't pull off your furniture, you can always do this in an upright position. Good. Little pulses and pulse. Now come all the way up and lower it all the way down. Shake it out. You have made it. Let's stretch out those thighs. Taking one foot into your hand for a quad stretch and then the other foot. Good job, everyone.